As more people receive the COVID-19 vaccine, many are turning to social media to share their experiences. But there is controversy and frustration surrounding who can get it and who cannot. News Nation's Felicia Bolton has the reaction tonight. Felicia. Well, you might have seen the post online. Some people supporting the vaccine, others against it, some even complaining about who can or cannot get it. Either way your opinion sways, it's one of the most talked about topics of the weekend, and many people online say they are happy they received that shot. Posting on social media after getting the COVID-19 vaccine is now becoming a trend online. A hashtag search on Twitter brings up thousands of posts from around the world. One Twitter user says, today my mom received the Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine. After a year of battling this pandemic, she can finally feel more comfortable going to work every day. Another one says, hashtag, I got the shot for my family, patients, friends, and loved ones. So thankful to ring in the new year with this gift. Dr. Regina whitfield Kakesi is a board-certified OBGYN in Cincinnati. She, too, received the vaccine and plans to post online about it. So not just yet, but I did take pictures in order to do so. She says she doesn't see the post as a sign of bragging. I think it's important. Um, people, what keeps people from getting the vaccination is their misunderstanding or just not knowing or hearing about other people's response. She says by sharing the experience, it could serve as a call to action for others to get the shot. Being that the uh, black and brown communities are impacted um, more with the infection and the um, the consequences of being infected. I think it's important that our community uh, is able to see the folks who are actually getting the vaccination and speaking on it uh, so that they're not as hesitant to get it. But not everyone is keen on how the vaccine is being administered. Due to strict rules, only certain essential workers and seniors can receive it. One person tweeted out, I am not an MD, but I am a trucker. It is my job to transport the vaccine to various hospitals under a huge amount of regulations to get it to people. I take this role with great pride. I only hope one day soon I will be eligible to receive a dose. Danielle Barani says her daughter can't go to school without it. Individuals that have Down syndrome have a five times greater chance of getting COVID, 10 times more likely to die from it. She says they are waiting to receive their chance to get the vaccine while others post about their excitement. It's very sad that we've all come this far and so many people like myself sit and wait in hopes that, you know, we will have a chance. And the CDC recommends that after healthcare workers and long term care facility residents get the vaccine, the next groups include people ages 75 and older and essential workers like police officers, firefighters, teachers, and grocery store workers. Aaron.